Hey, what's up guys? It's been a really long time since I've uploaded my last video on how to generate a barcode in Power Apps, and um, I've gotten a lot of subscribers then, guys. 832 as of right now. Thank you so much for all the subscribers. I am so happy to see that. If you haven't subscribed yet, go ahead, click that subscribe button, click that like button. It'd mean a lot to me. Just to celebrate the so many subscribers. I think last time I logged in, I had like three or 400 subscribers or something like that so it kind of doubled from there so um i hope you all are staying really healthy and um so i just wanted to celebrate and try to show you guys a little bit of a, a dashboard that i made um that might inspire you guys to kind of generate some new ideas for any dashboards that you guys might make as well so let's get into it so this is the template dashboard that I have for you guys today. I created this template just to show you guys around and give you some ideas on how to make your dashboard. I'm not going to go into super deep specifics on the code because I'm sure you can look up other videos and you know figure that out yourself. Let me know if you have any questions there. I'll try to answer them the best I can. But um, yeah, I'll, I'll let you in on a little bit of the code, of course. So some of this code is dynamic and some of it is also static. So for example, this image here, it's user um, the function user.image. So it's just pulling in whoever's logged in their image. So if you have 100 people in your organization, this thing's going to dynamically change whoever logs in, which is cool. Uh, this one's just, you know, their full name. This one's their email, I believe. I think it's this one. Yep. Their email, user.email. And then, you know, same thing here, full name. This is the time right now. So some of this is really uh, dynamic, but some other stuff is just kind of static. This is just a background. It's literally just a rectangle. You just insert the text label, you erase the text, and you create... A background for it right here so that's just a red rectangle so you know you can kind of play around with it and it's kind of kind of primitive also but that's that's what makes it good because you can really just adjust it to whatever you need I'm just gonna delete that so you can put your text in there text label here you go you can say whatever you want to say here maybe announcement there you go and then you just move it up there and there it is, that's your announcement. And you know, you can update the app and everyone in your organization sees it. So that's pretty cool. So yeah, that's some of the uh, static and you know dynamic stuff. I have a little waffle bar I made here and that code's a little bit more complicated, but you know, it's just an idea if you can get into it. It's kind of, you, you kind of use timing and then the you edit the X and Y axis. I might make a video about it later, but um, yeah, you just, click on it boom pops up links pretty cool and then this is just quick apps you know it's just your classic navigate pretty easy so I'll just show you around yeah and you know while you're watching this video just absorb kind of get ideas for what you want to put for your dashboard if you have any cool ideas also let me know I might you know make a video about it <laughs> so yeah I have quick apps on the side here little profile um, yeah, so let's go to automations. So this is just primary automations. I've got a little navigational tab bar here. I only have one tab, so I guess I don't need more. But, you know, if you need more, you can put like secondary, tertiary, whatever you want. So this is primary automations. This is one, generate general files. Boom, click on it. This is a, a Microsoft Flow, Power Automate, whatever. So you just type in your stuff and then generate it. Comes up in the folder. Cool. That's some cool stuff. So generate, that's linked to the Microsoft Automate. So yeah, we'll go back there. Dynamics 365, again, just breathe in the design a little bit. So I have this tabbed look right here. So each tab here is actually, so if we're going, okay, so this is the Dynamics Contractors that Search. If we go, if we click on the Students one, I'm gonna press my Alt key. If we press on the Student one, the tab changes there, but it's actually, it changes because it's in a different screen. So you're gonna have to kind of code that a little bit and you know, just kind of mess around with it a little bit, but it looks really cool at the end. The end product looks really cool if you just look at it like that. Works really well. Yep, so, um, and then in addition to that, I have a, an edit screen for each of these. So I have the data here and this is just a table. I'll show you there, I'll show you that. This is a contacts table and I'm pulling in data from an Excel, I believe. So that's, I just named it contractors. So yeah, that's just pulling in data from the Excel. And then I also have an edit page where I can edit that information from the Excel. So maybe I'll change 
um, Anthony's name to gal, for example. And then I actually have a, you have unsaved changes to remind the user that they changed something and they might want to save it. And I have this coming up here, save changes. So if I save it, it's going to change into, Anthony is going to change to gal. So I'm going to save those changes. Saved, boom, it changed to Gao. And we'll go back to search students, and now it's Gao. It's no longer Anthony, it's now Gao. So, yeah, that's cool. We have students, same thing. You can change it. This is, oh, and I'll show you that. This, this right here is a form. And then this one is also a table, but it's only it only shows the name. So that's cool. You can kind of pick who you want to select here. And you don't have to do name. You can you know, have a different thing there too. I just, you know, I think name's pretty important. And then this, this one's just a form, and then the save changes is just the submit form button. And how did I get that unsaved changes thing to pop up? I'm just gonna change the data there, and I'll show you that. So you have unsaved changes. How does that pop up? Well, you just go to the visible section, and then you kind of have a form one dot unsaved there, and if as long as it's unsaved, you it pops up, it's visible, right? So unsaved is true, so visible is true as well. So you can kind of edit that however you want to. Same same with this thing. If it's um, unsaved, then it sh shows some text. Pretty cool. So yeah, that's just some ideas on how to put your application together. And let's go back here. Oh, whoops, my bad. I'll just save it, sure. There you go. And we'll go to Outlook. So this is my Outlook page, and you know, I still gotta edit that. But it's same thing, same design layout. And you know, one thing I recommend is kind of using the same layout for just the general gist of the pages. So for example, these links right here, they kind of have the same link and you know you know what I did is I created the template for these pages and then I also I I copied them I copied them so I created the template and then I you know I just copied them literally right here duplicate screen and then I changed and I rechanged the information in there so for example when you're going in there and doing this stuff right here you have to get it at the exact same position and you know you could go to X and you could go to Y you could change the size to get exact size but you could also create a template and just duplicate the entire screen so you don't have to do that again so that's 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 a really useful thing to do if you are looking to create kind of a unique unique but ubiquitous experience all around same thing with outlook here but you do need to make sure you know you change the little things are great right there this thing this hover and it turns red so that's not the move <laughs> but yeah you just go to contact outlook send mail i think this is another microsoft flow i can send it to a recipient whoever i want to send it to subject body generate and boom it sends the mail to it so yeah so i hope this video helped you guys a little bit on thinking about how to design your power apps and i'm sure a lot of you have designed some great apps out there that are way better than this also but this is just another you know template that you might want to keep in mind have it kind of have a main dashboard the quick apps on the side maybe a little menu up here if you want to you know design some cool ui ux experiences for your users so thanks for watching and thank you so much for the subscribers guys and i'll see you next time i'm going to start posting more because you guys are so dedicated to subscribing to my youtube channel thank you so much have a great day and stay safe see ya